So to get started with actually adding your text into all of 0.2 is the first thing you need is actually you're gonna need a sequence to be able to put the text in. So either you guys can create your own sequence or create a sequence from inputting footage and automatically making a sequence from that footage when dragging it over. But besides that, once you have that, then you need to just start editing your text, which is actually pretty simple. But basically you're gonna go and press the plus button, click and drag with the left mouse button on the video track to extend the length of the text. Click on the text and it should pop up the node editor in the top left hand corner. Now that you actually can see the different nodes, you can simply do a right click and change the settings. So now you can see all the different nodes, even if it isn't specifically the one that you clicked on that specific track. Now that you can see all the nodes, now it's time to actually press on the text node. And now that you press on the text mode, you're gonna have some really basic options. The first one is you're gonna be able to change your text. You can even open up a separate window to be able to do a little bit of text stuff. It actually will automatically do the bold and stuff with the HTML. Then after that, it actually has some options for changing the text with a drop down menu. And then right next to that, you can actually change. I'm not exactly sure what that one does exactly, but then right next to that, you have your left align, center, right align, top, bottom align which are very, very useful. Do the cancel or X if you don't wanna save any of the changes, but if you do wanna save the changes, press okay. Now that you have that, you also can see that we still have the animation portion on the right hand side where you can actually press the stopwatch, insert keyframes. After that, you should be able to go down under that and I'm pretty sure they have a color setting that you can click on which will allow to pop up a little pop-up box that actually has a giant circle where you can select the color, go from brightness level right next to it and have multiple different settings for the actual color output. Now that you did that, press OK to be able to change the text. Then under that, you even have the size of your text that you can change, and you can also keyframe that. And with that, that's basically all you can do right now with the experimental version. So if you guys like this video, you guys can click a playlist over here about all of the different all of point two videos that I've been working on. And you guys can click this video over here that YouTube recommends for you.